Welcome, welcome. MTV Cribs here again with Trey. As we're your hosts right now, this and is our house. This is our house, and supposedly we're fixing to give you a tour. First thing before entering the lab, you have to have Gucci on. Check your eyes from eyes straight, any blind particles getting in it. And if you have glasses, you have over the glasses Gucci goggles. And now we're about to put them on. Now we got them all the way into the lab. Alright. First of all, I'm gonna give you some general lab safety. If you have long sleeves on, make sure you roll them up and they get caught in the machine. You do not want that happening. Second of all, you want closed toe shoes. Any open shoe toes and sharp objects can puncture your foot. Alright. Third of all, you always have to have your hair behind your head because if you do not want your hair getting dragged in the machine and your face getting pulled into the freaking table saw, that'd be awful. All right, now this is our lab. When using machine, wait for it to come to a complete start and before leaving it, a complete stop. If any kickback, spinning out of control, or breakage occurs on any of the machines, try to shut it down as soon as possible and then notify your instructor. Along with injuries, tell the instructor immediately. Always keep the protective guards on the machines in place unless you need one removed. If so, then talk to your instructor because this is a special setup and you cannot do those alone. Also, no horse playing in the lab or fighting. That can be dangerous. Alright, so this is what happens when you wear open-toed shoes in the lab. It cut me! It cut him and he had to get stitches. See? How dumb. This is a drill press. When you are drilling, make sure that you back out of the piece you're drilling into to clear sawdust from the bit. If you have a small piece of wood, then make sure to clamp it down to prevent it from spinning out of control at high speeds. Always use a backer board to prevent tear out, and remove the chuck key that you use to tighten the chuck, or else the key may be thrown at you at high speeds. Like every machine, make sure that you always wear your Gucci goggles when operating. This is a disc sander. When using the disc sander, always sand on the downward side. There should be arrows pointing to the downward side, but if you can't see them, then watch which way it turns when you first start it up. Always make sure to not press too hard on the sander because you could break it or burn your wood and start a fire. Instead, apply light to moderate pressure. When finished, use the eraser to clean and stop the sander. This is the miter and or chop saw. The miter saw is used to make angled cuts or a quick cut. When cutting with the miter saw, try to keep your hands a safe distance away from the blade, usually about six inches. If your piece is too small to hold, then use another piece of wood to press it into the backboard. When finished with the cut, keep the blade down until it comes to a complete stop. Now we're at the bandsaw. When using the bandsaw, wait for it to come to a complete start. The bandsaw will not make a smooth cut, so cut more towards the waist side so you can sand it down later. If you have a long curve, then make relief cuts so you don't have to back out as often. If you do have to back out of a long cut, then stop the bandsaw completely and then pull your piece out. Always wait for the bandsaw to come to a complete stop. If you can't hear it stop, then watch the blade instead. The bandsaw can cut almost any material you need to cut, but if it is round, use a V-block so that way the piece does not slip out from under your hand. Also, when trying to figure out how high the blade should be away from the piece you are cutting, make it about a fourth an inch taller than the piece. Always give 
Lastly, we have our table saw. When trying to figure out how high the blade should be, make it about a fourth an inch higher than the piece of wood you're cutting. If your piece is six inches or less, use a push stick when ripping. Use the fence for ripping, but a miter gauge to cross cut. If you cross cut with the fence, you will experience kickback. Only cut wood on the table saw. If you use any other material, then the blade will be pulled under the table and a brake will slam into it, stopping and breaking the blade. Use a V-block when cutting round materials so you have um, better control over the material's movement and the cut. If you feel uncomfortable with any of the machines that we just covered, then you can use hand tools. Just make sure you use the right one for the right job. And also know that it will take longer than using the machines. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account.